Hey guys, Model Rocks 321 here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do a video just talking about old school rockets. Not versus new school rockets, but old school and new school rockets. Um, what do you keep? What do you collect? What do you build? What do you fly? What is a shelf queen and what is not? And which ones will you fly? Um, just looking at some vintage ones, these are some recent pickups that I plan to build and fly. I got these two from Launch Lab Rocketry and I got this from a guy on the Facebook Marketplace. He puts kits up and the Magnum popped up, which I think is a great, great rocket. Standing at 34 inches, it's a two stage. The stage is from a D12-0 to an 18 millimeter, you know, your B's and C engines. Um, but I'm gonna do some upgrades on this one. I'm gonna have this one stage 24 millimeter, 24 millimeter long. I'm gonna build it so it can take the longer E motors. I wanna get some extreme, extreme altitude on this one um, when I build it. This is kind of remind me of the um, same body tube size as the Astron Omega. If you've checked a few videos back, you know, I've been flying that lately. Had a severe crash, rebuilt it, and uh, flew perfectly with a onboard, uh, onboard uh, video. So if you check that, you can see the Astron Omega fly. Remind me of this rocket right here. This one may be a little taller, I'm not sure. 34 inches, I think the Astron Mega may be the same, or a little shorter. But very cool rocket, it says, um, it says right here, launch the altitude is approaching a quarter mile. But I think with two um, 24 millimeter long motors, like a, like a E12-0 going to a E12-4 or E12-7 or eight, something like that, it'll get it way up there. And you get, dang, get dangerous, some um, you can probably lose it. So you gotta keep your eye on it and have a spotter if you can. So. That's the Magnum. That is a cool, cool vintage kit. New school Nike Smoke. But this Nike Smoke kit, um, these are around. Like, this is a new school one. They've been around. It's an old school sounding rocket. They've been being made for years. There's big full scale versions of them. I mean, people fly high power. Uh, it's a, like a level level one, two. It's going for certification rocket. People use this rocket a lot, the bigger version. But Estes reissued this. These stay in production, so you can always find a Nike Smoke, which is a classic. Um, I also have the bigger version, the, um, I think it's the Pro Series, the Estes Pro Series version of it. You know, this is new school, new school packaging. These are, you can tell the vintage look. Um, I always love the vintage artwork. Always did a great job uh, on some of them. Some of them are really, really nice. And, um, but yeah, even a new school, this is pretty cool. Pretty cool. I mean, you can't go wrong. It looks good. It looks good. And moving on to another old school, we're going to look at the Star Speeder. This is one of those rockets I always saw in the catalog, um, I believe in the 80s. These went out of production a long time ago. But they do pop up from time to time. Like I said, I found this on Launch Lab. Minimum diameter body, um, all balsa, old school stuff here. I'm just wondering if the decals will hold up when I go ahead and build it. Because I do want to get these built and I want to fly these. Um, this one is 13 inches tall. C engines and stuff, you know, or 18 millimeter engines. Yep, flight to over 800 feet. This is a skill level two build. So very cool design. Got those colors. That whole color always remind you of the X-Wing fighter. Everybody know that it's definitely probably Star Wars inspired. Um, so yeah, cool looking rocket. Um, not not really big. It's not like I said, 13 inches tall compared to this one at 34, but a very nice rocket, you know, to build and fly. I mean, if you want to collect it, you can collect it. But to me, I want to, I like to see these fly, man, because they're these are from the 80s. They're you know, <laughs> very very old. But I would like I, I want to build them and fly them, man. I just don't want to have them sitting around. So that's another old school. Then we're gonna jump to a new school that I really want to get built, which I think is a cool, cool looking rocket. It's the Vapor. That's this Vapor, new school design. It says one rocket, two looks, decals included for both. Here they have this, this purple color scheme with these kind of like wavy like decals. Nice looking rocket. And then you have the black and yellow paint scheme here um, with that decal. So just a cool rocket. And this stands at 45 inches tall. I believe it's E, yeah, E power, right? E launch controller, E pad. What kind of motor is it? Got to be a, like a D or something. Yeah, I see a 24 millimeter, so it got to be E's. They don't have the motors on it. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. Yeah, so they have yeah E12 six or D12 five at the motor for the vapor. This is another one I'd like to get built and fly. Um, building takes time, you know, just getting the time to build and really feeling like building. Um, I, you know, so it's just a matter of getting the time to build it. I'm working on some stuff right now, getting my Saturn V ready for a launch. I'm getting a Saturn 1B ready to finishing up the masking and the, getting the painting done. I mean, I can show you where I'm at as far as masking. I have it right here. So I can show you part of it because it's, it's big. 
So Saturn one beast, the K29 went um I'm getting all those roll patterns masked off. This is the uh SA20 207 version. So it'll be black there, it'll be black cross here. These are be the black roll patterns. In this version, the tanks are all white. Tanks are all white on SA207, but you have to get these fins masked off. If you know anything about the Saturn 1B, they have some very intricate black and white roll pattern that you have to do. So just taking my time doing the roll patterns on that, and um, we'll be getting that back up in the air. So moving right along, we just did the vapor. Moving along, let's move to the Starhawk. Recently, Estes did their 24 to 12 days of Christmas or something they were doing, and they actually, I think they reissued this, or they just shouted it out. I'm not sure. I don't know if it's for sale. I'm at the check on that. I forget now. But anyway, this is a, a blue rocket. You rarely, rarely see blue rockets. <laughs> rarely. And this is one I would like to get built. Stands at 19 inches tall. A, B, and C engines. Um, skill level three. Skill level three build. I'm guessing because of these fins. Um, these fins, you got some work there. A little work there, I see. But nothing flights up to a thousand feet could be the other reason why. But nothing seems straightforward. I'm not sure about the skill level why they went skill level three. I'm thinking because of the altitude, um, but the fins don't seem too complicated. You do have that angle on that on that wing there. Um, other than that, I don't see why three. I'm not, I'm there, but it gotta be the altitude, gotta be the altitude. But the Starhawk, Starhawk is a cool one. I'm starting to see them a little more. I think Launchpad has a couple of these up right now. So if you wanna get one of these, they're around. They're around, I mean, I like them a lot. I like this a lot. I like all the, like I said, the stock, other than scale, um, Sci-fi and exotic is my next favorite, and then sport models like this and the Vapor are definitely high up on my list. Um, so we're going to move right along to another vintage. You can see them standing right here. This is actually an Estes. If you're new to this hobby, you may not know, but Estes released this in 1970. I have the face card for this rocket right here. This is um, a pickup. It's not my original, of course. I wouldn't even. I was only what one year old or two when they first came out. But the R2-D2, you have to add the little flight fin wings, which I have, which they always break when I fly now, which are super rare and hard to get. But this guy actually flies. Um, flies pretty well, too. I have two versions. I have the R2, R, what is it, RQ-D5? I forget his name. He's the black Imperial droid. Um, another good flyer. These are a good, stable flying rockets. If you can find one in this scale, there's another one out that's smaller. So... Make sure you're getting the vintage one if you want this size. Um, the other one, I think it's a little bit smaller and they have a flat version of an R2. It's kind of weird. Um, came out in like 97 when they were reissuing all the movies. They start putting all this stuff out again. But this is the older version of the R2-D2. Um, vintage, super cool. You had to paint all of this stuff here and um, I managed to find um, one. And I got another one I was able to rebuild, make it to the R2-Q5, which is under repairs right now. So, but yeah, that's the deal with um, Vintage, vintage and old school. And then the other thing I just want to discuss is collectors. Are people still collecting and holding on massive, holding on to rockets? Are people building them more or are they selling them? I just wonder what people are doing. Do you have a a, a big collection? Like what your collection is like? Um, if you can drop in the comments, let me know like how many rockets do you have? Is there two ways to have too many rockets? Because <laughs> can you get to all of them? What do you do? Do you trade? Do you sell? Just want to know what you guys um, are doing out there when it comes to massive amounts of rockets because I have my grails. I have my uh, Century Little Joe 2, that's my grail, and a sealed, um, well, it's open box of the Mars Lander, which I think is the greatest model rocket of all time. I have the Estes version. I have it all in parts. It's open box, but my Little Joe 2 is sealed. So those are my two grail pieces. And another semi-grail is the um, Maxi Brute X-Wing Fighter, which I have one built and i have another one in parts open box so those are kind of some top ones for me um and then any other scale ones that are super cool like let me look up on the shelf little joe twos of course um smaller versions yeah, i have a video up right now where i flew all four of my flying ones and i have a bigger sherry's hot rockets big uh, massive 145th scale one so yeah just wondering um how do you guys do it how do you collect how do you buy and how do you do it so I'm looking at these skill levels. This one's skill level two. This is skill level three. It seemed like this would have been skill level three. And this should have been skill level two. But then I look at the altitude, 800 feet, and this goes to 1,000 feet. I think they took that into consideration. Yeah, I think they took that into consideration because it seemed like 
yeah, this is not too complicated. Like for me, this is probably a straight piece across. Yeah, fin going up and straight across deal. A little more decals. Seems like this could have been a higher skill level than this guy. Just thinking out loud. And where do you have this one skill level? And then a two stage rocket is skill level two, which it takes a little more skill, I think. So I guess it depends on who was at the wheel at the time. And this is one of the older, older ones, made in USA ones. These, I'm sure, this this is Damon era. Yes, yeah, so this is a Damon company one. Let me see, what was this? I don't see a year. I yeah, probably won't see a year on there. But I'm thinking these were still, in this time period, were still being made in the US, I think. I think all this was made in the US at the time. These are definitely made in China by now. These are definitely out of the country. I, I'm sure all the new stuff is not made in the US, I'm sure. Uh, yep, made in China. Yep, Guangdong, China. So yeah, all the new school Estes stuff is China, all the old school like this. Definitely US. This one says it, these two don't, but I'm 100% positive that if I had to bet that these two are US also back when US was making stuff. So, but yeah, this is US made too. Another one, old school, 70s, like this had 70s. But there you have it guys, Model Rocks 321. Drop a comment, check the links below if you wanna get anything from Estes, discount code, you see it on the screen, IN underscore 321, put that code in, it helps. Hit the thumb up, it helps. Drop a comment, it helps support any way you can. I mean, if I bring you any value of any kind of knowledge, entertainment, anything, Support the channel. There's links down there to support. I have a website with some stuff over there. Astron Omega Film. Um, above the surface, the zine. I'm an artist. I draw. I have this motivational zine out there right now. So you can go and um, support that. Some drawings, some space drawings, sci-fi drawings with quotes on them. So these make good gifts. I sell these at like my art events and stuff. So people, people really like them. So if you want to... Uh, Go and support that. You can grab yourself one of those. There's some all drawings, all pen and ink. I'll be drawing with a uh, white ink on black paper, or I'll make the paper black using a sharpie. But then I have black black paper. I'll buy depending on what I feel like doing. Just different different ideas, different thoughts from Model Rockets three two one. Thank you guys. Appreciate it for tuning in, and we will catch you on a launch video soon. Stay tuned. The Saturn V is being prepped, and we're going to be flying that thing. And I'm out. Model Rockets three two one.